In this video, I'm going to show you how to create awesome double exposure portraits in camera without the use of Photoshop. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. On this channel, I share gear reviews and portrait photography tutorials like this. Today, I want to teach you a really cool technique that will help you create awesome double exposure portraits like this. Now, whenever I think of double exposure portraits, I think of Corral Miles. Corral is a Boston-based portrait photographer who has gained recognition on Instagram for her double exposure night portraits. Now, I wanted to share her process with you, so I met up with Corral recently in Back Bay here in Boston to do a night portrait shoot. Let's check it out. So basically, um, I'm going to do the in-camera multiple exposure. It should be anywhere within the camera settings, multiple exposure. Disabled. I use this one. Corral shoots with a Canon 1DX Mark II, but most digital cameras have a double exposure setting. To learn how to set up a double exposure for your camera, search your camera model name on Google and double exposure. I'm shooting with a 50. 51.4, I'm at 1.8. I'm going to bring down my ISO. So I'm at 1000. All right, so I got her portrait. I'm gonna switch to manual focus. And now I can see the overlay. I'm going to turn it down a little because I don't want the bokeh to overpower her. There we go. Once you take the portrait and you can see the layover and you've taken your shot, Usually want um, whatever light it is that you're using for the for the second layer, you want it usually to be out of focus unless it's like a sign and you're trying to read it. It's just a softer look. Um, so I can take one, it's overexposed. I can really quickly hit the trash can and it gives you the option to do undo last image. Yeah. And then you can do another one. So now <clears throat> bring it down a little bit. The brightness is what will show. You want her face to stay in it, so you're gonna place her face where it's dark. You don't want the bright stuff over her because then it'll overpower the portrait. Menu, multiple exposure, function control. Take my portrait. Manual focus. Oh, I'm getting some of like the, the stop lights over there, so I got some blue. Cool, that looks really good. That's actually turning out to be my, my favorite. Let's recap. How to take a double exposure in camera. Step one, go into your camera settings and turn on multiple exposure. If you don't know how to set it up, then try searching for your camera on Google or YouTube. Step two, take a portrait of your model. Step three, take a photo of the lights for your second exposure. Use manual focus to blur the lights out slightly and make them less distracting. Also, be sure not to cover the model's face with the lights in the second shot. Step four, retake the second shot until you're satisfied with the result. That's how you take a double exposure in camera. Now, if you're not satisfied with the images that you're creating in camera, you can also do double exposures in Photoshop. And I'm gonna be doing another tutorial soon where I show you how to do that. That video link will go right up here and in the YouTube description for this video when it's live on my channel. Be sure to follow Corral and Sydney on Instagram. I've linked up both of their handles in the YouTube description. And don't forget to subscribe to Dan Bowen Photography for more photography tutorials like this one. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. On this channel, I should do... <laughs> person locked eyes with me and just like <laughs> totally fucked my game up. Be sure to subscribe for more. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Feeding the poor and helping out with their bills. Although I was born in Jamaica, now I'm in the U.S. making deals.
Damn, it feels good to be a gangster.